at the International Monetary Fund IMF uh, are very happy with President Ruto. In fact, they have congratulated him on his tax measures and have urged him not to waver in the face of protest against the high taxation. And so this week, uh, the IMF Executive Board completed the 53 review of its current program with Kenya. And uh, after that review, they allowed an immediate disbarment, disbursement of about 50 billion Kenyan shilling, that is uh, 415 million dollars. The board also approved a 20 month arrangement of uh, 70 billion, uh, that is 551 million dollars, to support Kenya's effort uh, to build resilience to climate change and catalyze private climate financing. And uh, IMF mission chief to Kenya, Hai Manotefera, spoke to the Business Daily on why the lender is happy with President William Ruto's new tax measures. The reforms it has proposed on Kenya Airways and Kenya Power, as well as the conditions that have come with its latest uh, round of financing. And so the IMF has thrown its weight behind the Finance Act of 2023, which is presently the subject of a competition. And so does the IMF see a risk of budgetary dislocation uh, should the act be thrown out? The Finance Act is critical in the sense that there is need to mobilize resources to finance the government spending, including debt services, but also social sector spending because um, the government gets its revenue from tax collection. And uh, we have seen over and over again uh, KRA failing to meet its uh, targeted revenue. And so the act focuses on the need for domestic revenue mobilization because, as you know, in the past, Kenya has been able to access markets both externally and domestically, and this has now become an extremely expensive source of financing. In such situation, a focus on domestic revenue mobilization to ensure macro stability becomes even more critical, and the Finance Act tries to address this. One of the sticky issues is doubling VAT on the fuel to 16%. Uh, does IMF have a view on a middle ground. So the IMF says that uh, the standard rate of VAT in Kenya is 16% and therefore the change is adjusting to that. At the same time, they point out that it is always important to be mindful and assess the impact on vulnerable groups and that has to be addressed, which has been the cause for the protest because the vulnerable, the vulnerable groups are really feeling the pinch of the new taxation. That is even the uh, the housing levy has not even been put into effect yet and the people are already feeling the pinch. And so full subsidies are generally not popular because they are very costly and they are not targeted. And so when uh, President Ruto removed uh, the levies on uh, some goods and uh, some uh, services, the IMF are very happy with this because they are of the opinion that uh, they are very costly and they are not targeted. So the way the IMF sees it is that the best policy approach is removing the subsidies and ensuring that resources are targeted to the most vulnerable group to address any impact that comes out of this. And basically what we are getting from this is that the IMF are very happy with President Ruto's progress and they have even given him more loans. They are willing to give him more. And so that's the bottom line. And uh, the person who's feeling the thing, who's feeling the pinch, of course, is the common monarchy because by the end, at the end of the day, they are the ones who have to deal with commodities with high prices when there's no subsidies. They are the ones who have to deal with uh, everything being high priced because fuel, you know, is uh, primary good in uh, production if the price of fuel is high the price of everything goes up and uh, the common monarchy is the one feeling the pinch and that is why people have been taken to the streets people have taken to the streets three days consecutively from wednesday thursday to friday and uh, we don't know next week if it will continue in the same spirit and uh, let's see how it goes if uh, ruto will uh, fold and give in to Raila's demands. Or oh, if uh, Raila will see no means to unhand and decide to forego the protest altogether.